Hey guys, Coach D here. Today in the dojo, what we're going to do is we're going to work on some RDLs with a landmine. I got a special guest today here. We got Brian from next door. He's going to help us out. So Mr. Aggie himself is here. Woo. So first thing we want to do is when we're getting a landmine here and we're doing an RDL, we want to make sure that we line up with the bar just in front of us here. So we're going to have Brian step to the bar. We're going to have him bend at his hips here and pick the bar handle up and bring it right in front of his junk here. Really big important here, you want to be close to the bar that it doesn't hit your junk, so when you pull it up, you don't get racked there. So that distance should just be about an inch or so apart from you. So we're just going to bring a little bit closer here. Now, next movement here is we're going to keep a straight back, engaging our abs. And what we're going to have to do, have Brian do is keep soft knees and push his hips back towards the wall as he lowers the barbell to the ground here. So what we want to do is we want to feel this in the back of our thighs, our hamstrings. So Brian's going to come right back up. Now, sometimes people may not feel it there. So I'm going to have Brian overextend himself to the backside. So I want you to really push your weight back there as you go down here. So you can see his toes come off the ground. That's very common for people. So if you're hitting this position here, what we do to correct it is we're going to have Brian straighten his legs to the bottom. And I'm going to shift his weight back forward here. So he's going to be able to feel his hamstrings even more as he comes back up. And how does that feel for you, Brian? It feels. <laughs> and so that's how we do the lead line here with no weight on the bar. Now, if we need to add weight, so I want you guys to notice how far Brian goes down when he does this. So you can see his hands are pretty much at his shins here. The bar is pretty low to the ground. So if I wanted to add this bumper plate, it's not going to make it all the way down there. So what we need to do here, and I'll steal this for you, add this on here. We need to elevate Brian up so that gives him more range of motion. And so we're going to use our DC blocks here today. We're going to have Brian step on the DC blocks and go through the same motion again here. Slightly unhinging the knees here, grabbing at the handle. He's going to come close here. We might have to move the blocks a little bit closer. There we go. Same motion, bracing at the abs, so expanding everything out. And Brian's just going to push his hips back. Maintaining a neutral spine, as you can see, head all the way down to his hips. And then Brian's going to stand up. Now, he's got a little bit of squatting going in there, so we're going to ask him to not bend his knees as much. So he's going to go down again. Very good. I'm going to pause you right here. I'm going to shift him forward, boom, right there, and let Brian come right back up. How's that feel? Good. Good. Uh, okay. Let's go down one more time for you. So you can see we're going to have a little bit of the knee, that's okay. We just don't want to bend like we're squatting. We don't want to make it a squat. And as you can see, Brian lifts his leg, his hips up. That gives him more work through the hamstrings. Oh, and that's how you guys do a landmine RDL. See you next week. Thanks, Brian.